Okay, another episode here of Tripods with Travis. Um, today, I'm finally getting around to doing the arc mount, being directly into the top of the tripod. But while I'm out here doing it, I'm gonna go ahead and compare the bog death grip saddle or clamp, whatever you wanna call it, to the triclops clamp, to the arca plate, all on top of the fat boy with the warrior's tripod ball head. So, first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm running, this is the bog clamp. This is my least favorite clamp. But it's a good budget friendly option. I will say that, I mean it's, I think, I'm recording now, so anyway, I think this clamp runs 80 to $100, I believe. I'm not real sure. I don't remember. I'm gonna go ahead and do the tap here. I can just, the whole clamp, I wish I could pick this up on camera better. The whole clamp is giving. I don't know if this is noticeable, but you can obviously see the gun moving. And here's side to side. Here's up and down. So that's a good little test there. Go ahead and stop that recording. Now, let's go ahead and take this off. Take this clamp off, set it out of the way. Grab this clamp here. This is Nick's clamp but he won't mind if I use it. Go ahead and get this settled in here. That's a little too tight. That's pretty good right there. So, go ahead and open this up. Slide this in there. All right, this is the Triclops. We'll go ahead and get it adjusted on the fence. Somewhat close. That's pretty good. Go ahead and start recording. All right, let's do the tap de tap test here. I think this one's a lot better. It's still giving inside that rubber, as I said in the last video. You can definitely still see it giving. It doesn't look like the clamp is, the whole clamp itself is moving as much. I'm hitting this one kind of hard. Here, side to side. Up and down. All right. So let's go ahead and take this off here. We'll take this clamp off. Put it back on the slick. She's clamped down. Now, go ahead and lock this in. That's a little tight. All right, now I know you can't really tell much, but one major difference is how much lower this is. It doesn't really seem like it, but I can tell a big difference in the lower center of gravity. And that's where I think the level base will be nice, which I did see that fat boy is coming out with a level base, so that's going to be probably a purchase in the near future. But let's go ahead and start recording this. All right, so do the tap test. All right, so there's definitely, it's definitely more rigid. For sure. Here side to side. 
I won't even hold the tripod. The others, I'll, I think I'll just had my hand on the tripod, but I don't think it's gonna make a difference. This is definitely more solid by a long shot. I mean, the gun's still vibrating, but not nearly like it was. So, that would be the difference between Arca mount straight to the top of the tripod, the triclops clamp or saddle, whatever you want to call it, and the bog death grip clamp or saddle. It's definitely still the worst clamp out there, but like I said, it's a good budget friendly option for sure. Uh, the triclops is a really good clamp. I like it a lot. And there's better than that out there. There's the hog saddle and all the mothers out there. And then the Arca mount is definitely more rigid than the two saddles. Um, and it's easy to put in there. Used to, I, I didn't like the Arca mount because when it's dark and you're out in the field, you go to get the gun out of the truck or Jeep or whatever you're in. I'd always have to, in my old setup, I'd have to kind of tilt the gun a little bit and slide it in there. For this um, Arca mount here, when you flip the lever open, it opens wide enough where you can just set the gun straight in there. So that's really, really nice. I do like that a lot. Um, I better check my stakes real quick here. Okay, so now that we're at the end of this, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little video with another episode of Tripods with Travis. And if you want some really cool sunglasses, get you some Dillons. They're pretty awesome, I must say. I got a frosted lens. Um, uh, I dig them. I like them a lot. And I'm a Costa. I'm a Costa guy. But these Dillons, my first pair of them, and I'm liking them. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, comparing the bog death grip clamp, the triclops clamp, and then straight arc mount clamp, or in the top of the ball head. And they're all done on top of the Fat Boy tripod with the Warrior Tripods WT65. And you'll definitely be able to tell the difference. I do know that uh, the bog the bog clamp was definitely the worst. That's for sure. Um, the bog was definitely the worst. The triclops did really well, but it's still not as good as a straight arc mount. The straight arc mount's definitely better by a long shot. It uh, doesn't bounce near as much. It's just more rigid and just kind of vibrates a little bit. Um, the only thing is, even going out in the field and it does open wider, so you can just throw your gun right in the top of it and clamp it down. I still think the clamp is easier. Uh, I think it's more convenient out in the field. Do I think there's a huge difference between the two? No, I don't, but there's definitely a difference. And if you're talking a little bit of movement and you're shooting out there 50 to 100 yards, it's not really that big of a deal. Now, if you start increasing that to 150, 200, and that movement starts mattering a little bit more. Then if you get out there at 250, 300, you're definitely gonna see a difference. So, I, and like I said earlier in the video, um, I saw where Fat Boy's coming out with a level head and it looks awesome. Uh, I'm excited to try it. I can't wait to get one actually, because my favorite thing about it is most of your level heads that you're seeing, the deal's coming straight down out of it. So you have to have your hand awkwardly inside them legs to make quick adjustments. That's what I do like about that throw lever. It's right there on top, your hand's on the tripod. You can make a quick adjustment with it instead of having your hand awkwardly down in there below the tripod in the legs. It looked like the picture that I saw, the fat boy, the lever comes down and then actually 90s out. So you might be able to control it more. So being directly under, maybe it comes out a little bit. I don't know. I haven't seen one for sale yet I just saw a picture of it so uh, when it comes out I'm probably gonna snatch one up but anyway I'm gonna end this uh, I'm gonna finish cooking these steaks up and we're gonna eat some dinner and I uh, hope you guys got something out of this and enjoyed it thank you